Welcome back to the Football Today podcast for a Matildas special episode. I'm your host, Liam McCallion, also known as the Stats Guy. Joined, as always, I'll start with him, Marcus Barzana. He's not as exciting, but how you going, Marcus? Oh, Fight up for the Tillies. Special episode, special time when the Matildas play, so Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. I wish the Matildas could just play all year round. We've got Tillies expert, I'm calling you I'm Olivia. Back. Olivia Spicer <laughs> is back on the show. How you going, Oh, I'm excited. Always oh. great to be back on the podcast. And yeah, yeah Matildas. Get around it. It's get been a long it. time, so I keep, feel like keep you've you back. been to almost every Matildas match ever in your life. So Pretty much, and I still haven't met <laughs> in your life. And I still haven't met Sam Kerr. But oh, one that's day, right. <laughs> that is the aim of this show: is to yeah. get her get her on this show. Maybe, Maybe when happen. we're touring England or something, yeah. we'll, we'll get we'll get that. Okay. Okay. I think she'll be pretty busy over the next. Uh, Mm. Yes, we'll get into that. There's, yes. there's a lot of news with Sam Kerr. Uh, we are here as the Fan Tilders. We were calling that uh, this time last year. I remember calling us the Fan Tilders, cheering on the Aussies as they take on Brazil in a two-match series, going through the predicted lineups, Tilly's news, scores, goal scorers. Hopefully, yeah, a lot of Tilly's goal scorers. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, the Football Today podcast. Get around the socials, Football Today AU on TikTok and Football Today Australia on Facebook and Instagram. We're going to be doing lots of fun shorts on there with the Premier League. We're doing a Betfair Premier League show every week, every Wednesday, Marcus and I. So get around that as well. All right. Around the grounds, I always have this little segment at the start that everyone, I don't know if everyone likes it, but I like I it. I like so it. We're, we're <laughs> Olivia likes it. That, so that's good. I'll start with this one. Sam Kerr announces that she's having a baby with partner Christy Muir. So Christy uh, plays at West Ham as West well Ham. in the WSL. Yep. Pretty awesome that she's having a baby. So cool. I wanted to put this question to you guys. If she's having a baby, where is the baby going to play? <laughs> if she is, I think she is. So wait, <laughs> they're having a baby. Christy Muir is from America. You've got Sam yep. Kerr, obviously, in Aussie. And then they're going to be brought up in England. England. Where is this baby going to play? It's going to be a superstar doing scissor oh, kicks like Sam well, Kerr, scoring I'm, goals from outside the box. I'm like hoping it's a girl just because <laughs> yeah, it will yeah. be Sam Kerr, but <laughs> it has to be Aussie. It has to be oh, Aussie. I hate to admit it. Look, I'd, I'd love for her to represent Australia, yeah, but yeah. in all fairness, it probably should be American. Yeah, Muis, Christy is, Muis having, is, the, having, Christy the is the having the baby. So yeah. she probably might have yeah. to, but then they might go, we can't decide. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I mean, lioness, you the, like the lioness. I like the lioness. <laughs> out of all three teams, the USA or England are the better teams at Australia. Yeah. But yeah. Sam Kerr's the goat. Sam Kerr's better than, <laughs> Sam Sam Kerr's Kerr's better than Kirsty Muir. That's in, true. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah. yeah. The uh, the fact that we're having this conversation is so funny. When like when like <laughs> the big sports people have babies, like I remember it was like Chris Judd in AFL, for yeah. example. Like people were talking about his kids or Gary Ablett and things like is that. There, is AFL. there going to be pressure on the on the child? Oh, 100 percent. There's already pressure. It's if still it's not in doing the, the kids <laughs> by age three, you know that those uh, TikToks with the Mbappe project. How they yeah. get little yeah, kids yeah. to like they'll be doing the same kind nah, project. Yeah. What happens if they don't even? They might not even want to play football. That's right. They yeah. they can do what they want. You know. They, but, yeah. but no, no. Play they can't. Play for Play for I knew that would bring up some. Nah, funny things. I'm happy for them. It'll be great. I think, yes, Sam deserves it. Yep, and so does Kirstie. They're, they're a great couple. So, yeah, it should be good. Absolutely. Uh, getting into some more serious news. Mary Fowler and Courtney Vine pull out of the Brazil matches due to mental and physical fatigue. So you've got Courtney Vine who's pulled out before due to mental fatigue. And then Mary Fowler. I feel like just in football in general, we've talked about this when we talk about the men's. Mm. There's a lot going on. Too many matches and things like yep. that. They're yep. very fatigued. Mary Fowler is still very young. Mm. And plays like, I don't know, sometimes twice a week. Yeah. It's very tough on the bodies there. So yeah. I, I don't mind them pulling out of this. this I think series. it's all right. Like, especially in Mary's case, they've got the Champions League, then they have yes. the WSL. Yep. And then coming to Australia which from the UK, which is big not trip. big yeah. trip, mm -hmm. big camp. Yeah, I, I think it's all right. Just for some friendly games, it's not, it's no. not like it's a competition or a World Cup or mm -hmm. qualifiers or anything like that. So I think yeah. it's all right. Yeah. I think the sense. fans will be missing her, obviously, because everyone oh, wants course. to see yeah. Mary Fowler. We love Mary Fowler, but that's fair enough. And Courtney Vine, same situation. She's a little bit older as well and needs to yeah, not get injured and things yeah. like that. So I don't, I don't mind mm. that. Uh, talking about injuries, we'll just finish on this for around the grounds. Gory's out. Contreta mm. Gory's out with a shoulder. Uh, West Ham fans will be annoyed with that. She's had bad luck. She's <laughs> had, yeah. He's always Terrible injured, injury. I always reckon. Injured. Yeah, Always injured. The best, like, CDM, one of the best oh, CDMs so in the good. world, I reckon. So yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a brutal loss. Next one, Claire Wheeler, who's been really good. She's got a, a leg injury. I don't think it's too bad, but yeah. she's definitely out for, like, the next month or so. So a bit yeah. brutal there. The last one that I wanted to touch on, Hannah Lowry, who's been killing it for Sydney FC. Mm -hmm. She's just 21, got her first call up to the Matildas. Everyone's so excited. And then I think just two days ago she does her ACL as they were oh. heading to the camp. So unfortunate. Oh, so unfortunate. Can we talk yeah. ACLs in women's sport? So hard to recover from that as well. I know. Um, ACL injuries. I know. So I, I hope she can recover well because yeah. there is actually some Matildas that have recovered well mm. and then, then gone yep. on to have good careers. Yeah. 
but brutal just but I think just when you just going, got called up. Getting your first call up, obviously working towards that her whole life yeah. to get that phone call. She must have been so excited. I know. And then mm. to have that. Yeah, maybe they should. Man, that's just so disappointing. Let her do her rehab, rehab at the Matilda's Matilda's camp, just so she's hanging around yeah, with all, the, just, yeah. all of her like idols and yeah. things like that. Look, cool. it's probably it's obviously bad news for her. Yeah, but it also means good news for someone else who can yeah. You know, there's a lot their of claim and, and come into the squad. And yeah, like, yeah. As we, difference as we'll touch on, there's a lot of people in the squad. Uh, there's 36 to be exact. So wow. so there's a lot of young players coming through. I think more so just to get some young players around, like yeah. the bigger names and, yep. and learn from each other. So mm-hmm. it's actually a good time for yeah Matilda's football. Talking about that, we're going to go through the predicted Matilda's 11 next, including the 36-player squad. So they've got that squad to face Brazil and Chinese Taipei. So I think we'll smash Chinese oh, Taipei like easy. we have in the past. <laughs> we should. But we, should. we have, as I'll get in later, actually had a really good run against Brazil, which mm. surprised me. Uh, ne- la- next one about the uh, squad, Claire Polkenhorn will play her last ever international match. I thought it might be a few matches, but it will probably be in her hometown, yeah. Brisbane, which is the very first match. So she'll finish her career in her hometown. Absolute legend of uh, the Matildas guys. Yeah, been there yeah. since the beginning, like yeah. since all the hardships, you know, coming through, seeing the growth of the squad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And it in her hometown, I think it'll be really cool. And yeah, just a legend of the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can we chuck her was up she, front? Was she, was she part <laughs> of that first Asian Cup? <laughs> yes, she was. Yeah, yeah. she probably was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 167 appearances, the most <laughs> cat player until his history. Wow. Uh, can we... Obviously, she'll start in defence if she if she's on. Can we just chuck her up front? Chuck her up front. Get her, get her header <laughs> or something. Not? I don't think she's scored many goals being a defender. Fowler's not yeah. there. Get her a yeah. couple can, goals, can yeah. We, can we, Do you think she'll play against Brazil or she'll play against... Uh, apparently, she's going to play the first one against Brazil yep. because yeah, in her Brazil. hometown, Brisbane. Yeah. And then she probably won't play the ones after that. as like a mm. send-off for yeah. the first game. Yeah. yeah. So she, she won't feature against Chinese Taipei? I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Yeah. Like no. Melbourne games, It's not as... Big of a game, I guess. Anyway. With a squad of 36 as well. Yeah, they're so, going to yeah. rotate a lot. I think, especially in Chinese Taipei, yeah. Especially in uh, these sort of matches, you can have lots mm. of subs. Oh, yeah. You can. There's like no caps on like four or five subs like in other tournaments. And so. get the younger yep. girls in, give yep. them a run. Yep. But yeah, she's a legend. I saw Ali Carpenter, a video during the week, just saying how much he looked up to her yeah. and like all of the players, even the older players look up to Claire Pogno. That's mm. I'm not trying to say that yeah, old Claire Pogno is, but, yeah, she's, but been she's, there, she's, <laughs> she's been around there. She's been around the box. She's been around. She's how, many, how many caps? Over 100. 167. That is crazy. That's wild, man. That's crazy. Even to have over 100 for your nation is yeah. incredible. Yeah. To have over 150 is... I, I might have to look into of. that for our uh, episode next week. If, if comparing like her to just anyone that's played international football, because mm. that's mm. a lot of it's matches. Yep. Yeah, so good on her and we're very happy with that. Next one I want to talk about in the squad is friend of the show, Olivia's mate, Carly <laughs> Ross. Our mate as well. <laughs> Carly Ross back in, is back in the squad. Obviously had so many injuries. She had a nice ACL, ACL injury. Mm. just got... I yeah, think she had unlucky, another knee yeah. injury. She's had other things she's like that. she's working on a game playing for Melbourne City. So, yeah, it's yeah. good to see the progress. And, yeah, no, congrats to her, friend of the show. Hopefully get her on again soon. Yeah, but back yeah. in the squad. That'd be cool if we can get her on because last <laughs> time it was former Matilda, but yeah, now it's now, current Matilda, Matilda and she's killing it. So, yeah. well done, Carly. We're very excited for that. I wrote this down, so I don't want you guys to give me an opinion on this one. I'm looking at a full-strength predicted 11 here. Mm. Because I'm not sure if a few players are out. I think Michelle Heyman might be rested because she got injured for Canberra United. Yes. But she's still in the squad. so Maybe come she, back she, from Chinese Taipei games. Yeah. So I, but in terms of the Brazil matches that we're covering today, I think this will be the squad. So let me know how we think. Obviously, mm-hmm. Mackenzie Arnold in goals. We're pretty happy with that yep. one. Yep. <laughs> then I'm going five at the back just yeah. for Claire Polkinghorn. Mm-hmm. Okay. But, <laughs> but this is pretty... Claire might be able to push up. Well, I think oh, we probably will play five at the back. I had a look at uh, well, new manager's first game. Yeah, yeah okay. So. Tom Samani. Yeah, we haven't talked about that. Tom yeah. Samani's first game back. Obviously, he was the coach in the '90s and early 2000s, but now yeah. he now he's back. Okay, that interesting. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> anyway, I'm going Ali Carpenter, Claire Hunt, Alana Kennedy, Claire Polkinghorne. I reckon she might even just play the first 45, yeah. 30 minutes because mm. it's her send off. Get a bit of a clap. Game, Everyone yeah. will be cheering. You'll be cheering on yeah, your TV, yeah. Olivia. <laughs> uh, Claire Polkinghorne, then Steph Catley. Mm. Then we've got midfield: Kyra Cooney Cross, Emily Van Egmont, Tamika Yallop. And then forwards, I've got Caitlin Ford and Hayley Rasso. They actually were starting Yallop and uh, Fowler in our last three matches as the forwards. Mm, interesting. Mm. But it was a bit weird. So yeah, we did beat Germany. Yeah, but, but everything else didn't go well. What, so do, you, what do you guys think about that? Or no. Am I missing anyone in the squad? Uh, I'm happy with that. I think, I yeah. think that's fairly strong. Yeah, well, there's a lot of injuries, obviously, in that midfield. So, yeah, mm. um, yeah it'll, it'll be good for, for players like Van Egmont and Yallop, mm-hmm. you know. To, to, yeah, lift in. Obviously, they have a yeah. lot of experience, yeah. but um, I think the Matildas probably need a bit of experience with a new coach, new yep. coach in now, so to lead the way. Yep. 
Do we think Grant will come back? Oh, actually, I didn't yeah. even think about Charlie. Yeah, true. That's what I'm thinking. She might be ahead of Yallop or she might even uh, mm. swap for Polkinghorne yeah. possibly. Because I, I really like our defense is always Carpenter, all, Hunt, Kennedy, yeah. Catley. Like, that mm-hmm. is just awesome. I've got yeah. the PSG top Chidiac could even come in as a sub. Chidiac, um, yeah, yeah. Mid or up front. Yeah. could work. I st- oh, yeah, I really, really, really like Chidiac. Interesting that Chloe Legazzo is back yes, in the squad. Yes, she's also. been killing it. Actually, I had a look at her stats. I, let me get now. that. Yeah. yeah, she's great. She was on, was she on um, Amazing Race? Yes, she was. Yeah, that was so <laughs> random. random. Yeah. Yeah. And then it was the 2019 World Cup. She was 2019? Yes. Yeah, she played and she did great there, but then obviously didn't uh, play in the last one. So, yeah. 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 Maybe, yeah. Oh, Western United girl as well. Western United, yeah. yeah, yeah you a bit of Western United. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you've been travelling to any games this Oh, no, that hasn't started yet for the men's, started, but the women's. But yeah, yeah. Yep. You get uh, around them. Yeah, I love the women's. Uh, Chloe Legazzo had nine goals, three assists for Western United last year. She's already got yep. two goals in three matches, so... She hasn't played for a while for the Matildas, but they're probably like, we've got to reward mm. the form. And, and like Emily them. Gilnick is also back, Ooh, which is another okay. legend. So, yeah. interesting squad. They've got a, even though there is a lot of young players coming in, the older, like, legends of the game. Yeah, yeah. that's so, awesome. I well, think, yeah, Thomas Amani just wants to see Gilnick what they can do. has six goals in four matches for the victory uh, so far <laughs> this season. So that's yeah, well, good. there you go. It's good to see a, a whole bunch of, like, uh, W League players in there. Yes, yep. love um, it. Which, which is great. Uh, even having a look here, there w- would be at least... At least half the squad is from yeah, seven, um, the yeah, A-League. So. I actually read the thing, I just remembered. 17 players out of the 17, 36 yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, are from the W-League, which yeah, is awesome. Fantastic. I think the W-League is the last couple of seasons. Mm-hmm. There's been a lot of hype around the Matildas. The crowd's yep. getting better. Yeah. The standard's getting better. There's so, even a few players like Chidiak going back there, uh, Heyman and things yeah. like that. Mm. Really good Because Heyman could go off to Europe, as we've said many times. Yeah. yeah what there's happened a, with that? Remember, no, no, that, that was yeah. shambles, yeah. There's, there's a lot of in- great international players coming um, to Australia to play mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, yep. um, as lifting I, I, that lifts our yeah. standard as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember off the top of my head, there's, there's players like um, Hannah Keane, who's yep. superb. Yeah. who plays up front for West mm-hmm. United. Mm-hmm. Um, there's, yeah, there's been some really good players. Yeah, love that. So yeah, that's good. That's my predicted eleven. It might not be the best because mm-hmm. uh, there's a few injuries and things like that. But I think five at the back. Start with that. Claire Polkinghorne's going to tear it up in her last ever match. And then we'll get into it. So Matildas versus Brazil preview. We're going to go through the two matches here. Uh, I think it's going to be some really fun matches. Mm. I was surprised though. We are undefeated, the Tillies, in our last eight meetings with the Canaries, the Brazil team. I mean, that's pretty crazy because Brazil have a good team. Yeah, I I like playing against Brazil. They just yeah, yeah, it's good, great country, great great footballing nation. Yeah, nah, they're. To be undefeated, I actually thought we had lost one, but we obviously haven't. So I know it's crazy. I had a look. I went to a Brazil uh, World Cup match yeah, when they were Brazil here. Yeah, Brazil versus Jamaica yeah, you, and you, Amy Parker yes. was there as well. It was nil all, but the atmosphere was awesome. Yeah. I was yep. sitting next to the Brazil fans. They were going absolutely off. The Jamaica <laughs> fans were like <laughs> crying like, oh my God, we just drew to Brazil. No, like yeah. The vibes there were awesome. So mm. I think wherever this match is, uh, the first one's in Brisbane, there's going to be lots of Brazil fans there mm-hmm. going off. The last two meetings were in 2021. Uh, there was a 2 all and then a 3-1. I think Sam Kerr had three goals across yep. those two games. Obviously no Sam Kerr this one. So no backflips. Mm. If someone Someone scores, should they do a Sam Kerr tribute? No, nah, that's back- her, Is that illegal? Is that illegal? illegal? I wonder when she'll be back. I think she started training with Chelsea again. So, oh, that's yep. good. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, people thought she might be in the squad for this one, but yeah. maybe the next game. She might have actually trade. Has she trademarked her backflip? Maybe in women's if football. She has, I don't, maybe, can you I don't do think that? you can do that. But <laughs> I don't know. Ooh. I think everyone knows that that's the Sam Kerr. Yeah, like like if we did it, we might get a call from like her agent or something <laughs> saying. You can't Give say Sam Kerr and then do a backflip. That's illegal. <laughs> like, I don't know. All right. Game one is at Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane. So usually a rug- they're, they're playing at these uh, rugby stadiums in mm. Queensland, but mm. big stadium, so they'll have a big crowd there. Thursday, 9 p.m. Australian Eastern Day on time. <laughs> bit, of late, bit late for uh, us in uh, Melbourne, but yeah. yep. I'm sure we'll still be watching. The, even if this – I'm sure you've stayed up at like oh, 3 a.m. and so have you watching the, the Olympics, one, <laughs> watching EPL. No, 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 light work, man. Yeah. <laughs> light work. <laughs> exactly right. Uh, we'll go through it quickly. Goal scorers and predictions. I'll start with with you, Olivia. I'm going draw for the first game. Oh, you sound like Marcus. Ooh. He always did Yeah, draws. but I'm just <laughs> thinking, getting back into it, they want to play a defensive game probably. Yeah. No Mary Fowler. I think just let it settle. They've got four games okay. in Australia, mm-hmm. 1-1 with Rasso finally in the back of the net. Oh, Rasso on the wing. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't Do, mind that. Does a new manager bounce count towards international football? That's, yeah. that's a question. I'm not, I, I reckon. Uh, like oof. a bit of free flow. I hope footy. so. But it's not so. really a new manager. It's some old dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tom Samani, the old yeah. dude with a moustache that, that got us through all the hard times yeah. in the 90s. Yeah. Look, I, I, I think we find the back of the net. I'll go, oh, but I think we lose. I think. <laughs> oh, you, you <laughs> don't. We're, yeah. we're, Get out of here. we're not as good as we were when okay. we were beating Brazil back in... 2021. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'll well, give you that. A fair bit of injuries. Some yeah. of our best players are out of the squad. Mm-hmm. New manager... 
Uh, there's a big squad, so it could. I don't know if that would be a good thing or a bad thing in terms of you know team, gelling yeah. and cohesion. Yeah. Um, What's so the score? You reckon? I, I think two one. Two, two one? one Brazil. I was I two one Brazil. I'm going to go two yeah. one Australia. I think the Tillers are going to do really well here. I wouldn't mind seeing, yeah, Caitlin Ford. I think it's going to be on the wings because yep. I feel like mm. both teams play on the wings. Both teams have a bit of yeah. pace. Uh, so I don't mind Caitlin Ford in this one. Being really good for Arsenal, of course. I think dropped off a little bit the start of the WSL season, mm -hmm. but then has come back into form, same as uh, Steph Catley. Yep. So I reckon she's going to hit the scoreboard. But I reckon, yeah, Rasso or uh, Caitlin Ford. And then if it, the Aussie's going to score another goal, maybe Kyra Cooney-Cross. Yeah. I know she oh, hasn't I scored that many goals, Kyra. but she scored an absolute she's banger banner. against yes. Germany. Yep. That was uh, Harper Gorey was yes. saying, who hasn't scored yet? And Harper's like, <laughs> Kyra, she hasn't scored yet. And then she scored God. that night. Yeah. Like, I love Kyra. Yeah. What a queen. She's awesome. Mm -hmm. So I reckon she might get on the scoreboard. And I feel like fan favorite and yep. everyone will be going nuts 100%. for that. All right, game two, which is on Sunday at 7.35. That's better, better time for us. Yep. So Lovely. Not, not Prime time. We'll watch it any time, but anyway. Uh, Rabina Stadium. I thought this was Rabina Stadium. Rabina. <laughs> the Rabina. Rabina made me a bit thirsty. Wish. <laughs> we wish could get us. Maybe they can get a sponsorship there or something. Uh, that's in the Gold Coast, so that's another uh, rugby brand. So that big stadium There's going to be, I think it's actually Seabus Super Stadium. Seabus yep. yeah. Super, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Uh, so let's get into the goal scorers and predictions for this one. Do we think it's going to be similar or maybe once they've had one game under their belt, they'll fire? I up. reckon we win this 2-0. Two, oh, two there we go. 2-0. Start off with the be draw, cool. mate. And then they're like, ooh, fire in the belly. Let's get that win. <laughs> I like it. 2-0 and rest on forward goals, just going safe on the wings. Yep. Can't go wrong. Like it. Mm, I'm going to go slightly more positive, but I'll go a draw still. Oh, uh, I, think, I just think with such a big squad, I don't mind we'll, it. I don't mind we'll it. be rotating quite a yeah, bit. Okay. I, think, I think some some players uh, will get there probably... Not their first minutes for the for the Tillies. No, but they, well, they some will. Of, some few, of the, yeah. But some of their their first minutes, obviously, some people haven't been in the squad. Yep. Uh, for that long, so yeah, I'll go one one. I, I'm a big fan of Hayley Rasso, so hopefully she finds the back of the net. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna go. What am I gonna go? I haven't even thought about. It. No, I'll go, <laughs> I'll go one nil. I think I think the first one we're gonna be in favour of in favour of Australia. The yep. Tillies. I think yeah, the record speaks for itself. We've had a really good run against Brazil. I think it was 2017. We've uh, beat them 6-1. I don't think it's mm -hmm. going to be like that. That yeah, was sort no. of yeah, you no. know, a bit more of our prime, I'd say, in the Tillies. Uh, I think, I'm just going to say a big call here, someone is going to have their first minutes and someone is going to mm -hmm. have their first ever goal for uh, the Matildas, I feel like, in this one. I feel okay. like they're going to be rotating the squad a lot. First yep. one, big send-off mm -hmm. for Cliff Balkan. I reckon yep. they'll have a full strength. Yep. Second one, I reckon with this 36-player squad, mm -hmm. you've got to rotate the players. Yeah. I reckon there's going to be some yeah people debuting. First goal for someone. I think next the week that will happen. Oh, against the Chinese Taipei, yeah, fair. You, probably you may know this, more. Spence. What, do you know what number Claire Polkinghorn is? Because... Because typically, I'm not typically, typically, I don't typically <laughs> in soccer in a send-off game, in football yeah. in a send-off game, they get subbed off normally their player number. Oh, okay. normally they get subbed off. Is that a thing? That That's a thing. Wait, yeah. what do you mean their player number? Like, well, at have, that minute? At that minute. At that minute, they'll get subbed off. Well, she's number four, so I hope she doesn't get <laughs> subbed off. Oh, four minute might be a bit harsh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you come on. Uh, Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. she's playing. Right. Gets one touch. Mm. Yeah, come off. Clear. Maybe not. She'll definitely get subbed off throughout this game. I didn't know that was a thing. I reckon just it, it, before it, it, half yeah, it is time, a thing. Yeah. like forty minutes or something like that. Yeah, so she's yeah. number four. I think she's been number four all the way through because obviously the yep. lower numbers are for the better players, and she's yep. been there for a long time. That if it happens in the fourth minute, hey. then you predicted it. But depends. depends I don't know. Obviously, it depends what number you have. But the players I know in, well, in the past for for men's football, that's been the case. Yep. Players like Sean Terry, Didier Drogba getting subbed off mm -hmm. at their player number. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, yeah, I didn't even know that. Before, there, yeah. there That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, before we finish off, I'm just going to say player of the, across the two matches, like player of the match or player mm. of the uh, little series that we've got going here. Doesn't have to be a goal scorer or anything like yep. that, but who do you think is going to stand out, guys, in this one? I'm just going to go mm. forward. I've said her twice yeah, yeah. to be scoring. She's a leader in the squad. Yeah. Yeah. She's a lot of the young girls in. Obviously, you still got Catley and the other mm -hmm. older girls, but I think, yeah, yep. Ford just knows when to step up and, yeah, that's going to be my player of the match. Nice. I'm going to go uh, Kara Cooney Cross. Oh, in the nice. Field. Yeah, yeah. Go, yeah, obviously with some... Lacking depth a little bit. Yeah, we need uh, her in the defensive midfield. effort as well. Yeah, yeah, with the likes of with the likes of Gory injured. Yep. Um her experience, even though she's still really yeah. young. Yeah, uh, it's going to be crucial. Nice. Uh, we don't always give love to the defenders. I'm going to go Claire Hunt. I've got the PSG top on. <laughs> I reckon she's going to tear it up. I reckon she could get on the score. A few heady shots on the corners because mm -hmm. she's really good at those. Mm. And I think yeah, the, one of the matches will get a clean sheet. And it'll be really to do with the work of the likes of Claire Hunt, and Alana Kennedy. But I think yeah, Claire Hunt will stand out and get a lot of interceptions back there in uh, defense. Oof. Don't mind. All right, that was a quick one today, but we've done pretty well. With, with the Matildas we'll, we'll, are back. We're we'll be back for Tillies next week as well. Yeah. We'll be back for Tillies. This is Fan Tilders. We, we absolutely love uh, the Matildas here at Football Today. So that's the final whistle for the Football Today podcast,
check out yeah anything we're doing across the socials that's football today au and football today uh australia sorry i almost forgot that one so then, any <laughs> questions get in the comments thank you very much to joe behind the camera thank you to tilly's expert olivia <laughs> thank you marcus <laughs> love, love your work that's thank you very much thank uh, you. that's another episode of football today done we're out <laughs>